e mai le vavau ma tu mau sa o le atu toki pa ie fa al tala le le fa le malo fa le anga nu tau ona o fa tu lo wat malo so fua mo mo li atu fa tai ya ta to ve treni uma i lo to so fua fo ina atu e tau tua o te fa mo mo o to si fiel tau o tele o to ma lo to sa o te tonu o si o ta to o tu nu a to ma malo tele o America. Haftai ya ila to uma na tu fa ta siel nei fa moe moe. Olo uwa u tau tua nei il komiti mo ma ta upu tau vetreni. O se to finga e langona il fa tau vaa. O se fa alo alo ma ulunga ona o lenga luenga e tau lai. Ia mau tinoa olo o mau e vetreni tau singa ma tau tua e ma na o mie e ila to. Ta alofa lava. It's always a special honor and humbling to speak to our veterans. Greetings to everyone there in Utah and anyone who flew in or drove in from elsewhere. Thank you for your service to the country. Some of our veterans answered the call through the draft, and I hope we never have a war that requires a draft again. Most of our veterans volunteered, and we're blessed that our armed forces are all volunteer. In American Samoa, we know firsthand what it means to be a U.S. service member, not just to one person, but to the whole family. So many families in American Samoa are military families. Like them, my father and brothers served, including in wartime. So I know firsthand that as veterans, you and your service are a great source of pride to your families. One of my three committee assignments is the House Committee on Veterans Affairs, where I serve as vice chairman. The real honor, though, is to work on behalf of our veterans. I'm also co-chairman of the committee's veteran, Women Veterans Task Force, looking specifically at challenges they face. During my time in Congress, working under three different chairmen in that committee, we've seen a lot of progress on different priorities. Funding has dramatically improved over these years. In fiscal year 2015, the VA had $163 billion to serve veterans. By 2022, it was $270 billion, an increase of $107 billion, averaging a $15 billion boost each of those years. Within that, funding on mental health efforts has improved greatly still a serious concern. VA technology upgrades and digital record keeping efforts have been made or are underway, so records can be accessible and ready. Congress is working to invest in recruiting and retaining VA professionals who can improve services. Finally, investment in second career services from veteran owned businesses to higher education or taking classes so that veterans can put their teamwork and leadership skills to good use for their own dreams or families. There's more to be done and our veterans deserve the best health care available. The best possible at our NEFH Falemavaenga VA clinic in Tafuna. Also the best at the Spark M Matsunaga Department of Veterans Affairs Medical Center or Tripler in Honolulu and wherever each one of you call home, as well as the growing possibilities of telehealth options, which has great potential for our rural western areas or distant Pacific Islands. I'm also a member of the Western Congressional Caucus, where some of your mountain region members of Congress are likely sounding warnings about our national debt and yearly deficit, and these are serious matters. Both parties in Congress understand that we must never balance the budget on the backs of veterans. The importance of fiscal issues must never undercut the importance of veterans' issues. Instead, the country owes our veterans and our solemn national commitment to our veterans must be kept. Within Congress, there are many disagreements, but we have unity on this, coming together in wanting better for our veterans. 
I appreciate that about the Veterans Committee and Chairman Bost because it really is one of the more bipartisan places in Congress. Good legislation is good no matter which party has the idea. I routinely have one of the most bipartisan records in the House in co-sponsoring legislation that both parties can support. The last time that was measured, I was 19th out of 441 seats in the House in a Georgetown University study on bipartisanship. At every appropriate hearing and opportunity, I remind my colleagues of our island's fantastic enlistment rate and the built-in health care challenges based on our aging hospital, our distance and population size and economy. The fact is that these health care issues and basic economic facts apply in some way all over the country where our veterans can use everything from a hand up in a business plan to a prompt appointment with their VA doctor. We love our veterans and we'll keep after it, finding solutions and honoring those who served. If you're ever in DC, my office door is open to you. Feel free to let my office know your opinions on veterans issues throughout the year. If you go to my website, amata, Dot house dot gov, you can sign up for my occasional newsletter and keep up with what I'm doing in Congress and often what veterans bills I'm co-sponsoring. Thank you for listening. And thank you for your service. God bless our veterans. Soifua ma'ia manwia.